Hello, my name is Maria Benitez and I'm going to present my 30-day challenge results. Around one month ago, we had to choose a challenge to keep to during the following 30 days. And I decided to set up a personal one that I call the Positivity Challenge. Every night since then, I've been writing down what made me feel the happiest during the day in order to achieve a much more positive attitude. I really think it's been a great experience. I learned a lot from it. My main objective was to go to bed thinking about those little things that made me smile throughout my day to try and see if that made me wake up feeling more optimistic. I managed to go to bed in a pretty good mood thanks to those notes and in the morning I could definitely tell the challenge was working out. I'd like to read one of those notes and explain how the challenge worked on that specific day. The note says the following. This morning I woke up to my mom dancing with my dog quietly, trying not to wake me up and it just made me feel so grateful for my family. So I have three dogs and they usually sleep outside, but one of them was ill and when we went to the vet they told us to keep an eye on her, but my parents were going out for the night, so we decided to let her sleep in my room. It was a tough night, since my dog wouldn't stop crying and I tried to comfort her, but she really wasn't feeling great. So waking up to my dog feeling better and um, my mom dancing with her was amazing. They were trying not to be loud since I was still sleeping, but they ended up waking me up anyways. That same night, I had to write down my favorite memory of the day, and so I chose that one. And I couldn't stop smiling while trying to fall asleep. I plan to go for a run pretty early the next morning, which usually means feeling tired and unmotivated, since I'm not a morning person. But to my surprise, when I woke up, I was really motivated and happy. It might not even be thanks to this project, but I think it was, because this is just one example, but I can assure you that it happened every time. Thank you. Good morning. As some of you must remember for my third day challenge, I decided to have a go at something new and try out a daily typing class of more or less 15 minutes long. My goal was to type faster and easier, and I felt pretty confident and excited about the project, even if I felt like the only problem that I could be facing was finding time to do it. At the beginning of the project, I strictly kept to it, uh, but I have to admit that as the project kept on, I sometimes struggled in my time management. Uh, nevertheless, I managed to do at least a shorter class every day. So I reckon that this project has been a success for me in terms of doing what I had planned to do. However, I can't consider myself an expert on, on typing yet. It will take a little bit longer than I expected. Uh, but I can affirm that I have quite improved in it. Um, I recorded my, well, I recorded myself uh, doing uh, an exercise uh, during the first week of the project, and then I recorded myself doing the same exercise at uh, at the end of the project. And um, I don't know if you see it, but um, I did it uh, much more faster and with a lot and uh, making a lot less mistakes. So as my interest in typing faster and easier has increased. I will keep it up uh, um, until I successfully complete my objective. I would strongly recommend to do a course on typing. I have checked that indeed it is as useful as I expected. Uh, you can write faster and with more agility, you make a lot less mistakes. Uh, you can be typing while you're writing what is being written and it saves a lot of time and increases our productivity. And in addition, it doesn't take a lot uh, of time and for everyone that uses a computer regularly, um, can take real advantage of it. I feel very uh, satisfied with my project because even if I haven't achieved my final goal of typing faster and without looking at the keyboard and making mistakes, I have um, improved a lot in it and I have managed to keep up with my schedule. Thank you.